dua becomes unstoppable. We become like Ibrahim As Allah said, Inna Ibrahim kana ummatan qanitan lillahi hanifa. He was a one man ummah in himself. And these days we refer to some people, they will call them a one man army. You know, he can do so many things, he's a one man army. But Ibrahim was a one man ummah, and an ummah is bigger than an army. Qanitan lillah, in obedience to Allah, hanifan, upright. You know, always preferring and desiring Allah alone. The essence of asma wa sifat and uluhiyyah must be present. And the essence of uluhiyyah, you can put it simply, is la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. That there is no power, there is no might. There is no movement, there is no change. Nothing happens except through the express commission of Allah. And so, for example, let's say if you want to have mercy, and so you ask Allah for mercy. You will only get it if He gives you permission. And so Tawheed, it's implemented in that. You know, Al-Wahid alone, Al-Ahad alone can bestow mercy. And nobody can show you mercy unless Allah grants them the permission to show you mercy. And He also puts in their hearts mercy to show to you. Nobody can assist you in any way whatsoever unless Al-Musta'an Himself the one whose aid is sought, the helper, allows them. He's the source of all aid. He allows them to help you. How many people today, you know, we go around asking for help, yet we cannot be helped. Nobody can help us. It's because Allah has not given permission. One simple way to think about Tawheed in du'as is the du'a that we make between the two sajdas. You know, we say, Rabbi khfirli. You know, oh, oh my Lord, forgive me. Now, in terms of Allah, we know that He is al Ghaffar. The all forgiving, the Al Ghafur, the one who often forgives, the most forgiving. And we know that none forgives sins except him. And so you're gonna ask Allah alone to forgive your sins. The same with Rahmah. Rabbi Khfirli Warhamni. You know that Allah alone is Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim. And He alone can bestow mercy upon you. And if He does not, then nobody around you, not even your own family members, not even your own mothers can show you mercy unless he gives that permission to do so. So you will also say, Irhamni, have mercy on me. Then what do you say after that? Rabbi Khfirli Warhamni Wa'afini. You know, grant me well being, protect me, guard me. And this comes from Allah's name, Al Afu, the owner, the source of Afiya. And that if Al Afu himself does not grant you permission to be in a state of Afiya, we can never be so. Or we can never be in a state of Afiya. May Allah grant us all. Afia. What is Afia? To put it simply, well-being where everything is okay. If you have Afia in your wealth, it means you have no financial worries. If you have Afia in your mental health, you have no stress whatsoever. If you have Afia in your physical health, there is no problem whatsoever. You know, when Allah bestows Afia, there is no problem whatsoever to put it simply. And then you say after that, Wahdini, you know, guide me. Because you know that Allah alone <coughs> is Al-Hadi. The one who guides. And none can guide except Allah. As we know, Allah says in the Quran, you know, The one who Allah sends astray, who's going to guide him? There is no guide for him. And the one whom Allah guides, then for him, there is no person to send him astray, or there is none to send him astray. And so also when we say in the dua, Wahdini, we just say, you know, Inna hudallahi huwa al-huda. That the guidance of Allah, it is the only guidance. It is only through the permission of Allah that we can be guided. It is only through the permission of Allah that we are here today in the masjid. It is only with the permission of Allah that we have stood for Fajr. And it is only with the permission of Allah that we have understood the Quran whilst we were standing in Fajr. May Allah grant us all a good understanding. And may Allah make us all of those who are truly grateful to Him. Each and every single moment of our lives. And then we continue saying, Warzukni, you know, provide for me. Because you know that Allah alone is Ar Raziq or Ar Razzaq, the provider, <coughs> the one who provides for all of his creation. And therefore, you want provisions from Allah, you cannot get it unless Allah grants you permission. Allah, Allah grants permission for you to get that risk. And therefore, then it will reach you. And then we continue saying, Wajburni, you know, strengthen me or improve me or fix me, restore me. This comes from the same name you're thinking of Al-Jabbar. Al-Jabbar is the one who compels and the one who restores. And he's the only one who can help you and I in any situation 
whatsoever. We'll get into these names very soon, inshallah. And the final one we say is Warfa'an, elevate me. And this also you're thinking of Allah's name, Ar-Rafi'ah, the one who elevates our status. May Allah grant us all a true understanding. But as for today,